what is up guys and welcome to my first episode of my new redstone tutorial series so in this video I'll be teaching you how to make what you saw earlier which is double iron doors are activated with a button but the difference is that when the button is pushed it's activated and remains activated until it's pushed again and that's when it deactivates unlike a normal button so that is using that is done by using a T flip flop which is a redstone gate which I'm also going to be showing you how to do this video so on to the tutorial so yeah guys this is the template for the door it's just the five five wide by six long by three deep hole so that's one two three four five wide what by one two oops by one two three four five six long by three deep so that's all you need to do you just make a five by six by three hole and then under the doors you put redstone torches under the block of the door you put two redstone torches and going into the block with the redstone torches you put two redstone repeaters so what you'll need to do this door is uh, obviously iron doors redstone torches redstone dust redstone repeaters button uh, whatever your floor is out of so if it's a wooden floor you get a wooden block but since I'm using a sandstone floor I've got a sandstone block and any block it could still be sandstone the same block and then the same block that you're using here put a slab so if it's a wooden floor again you get a wooden slab and a sticky piston and that's all you need so onto the wiring you just break a block here underneath the block with the button and you put a block here so it's like a stair kind of thing and then you put the resonant dust coming down and now when we move on to the T flip flop which is what causes the button to remain activated until it's pushed again so the T flip flop needs there has to be a repeater here otherwise it won't work and then it's a block on the left side you put a redstone torch on the right you put redstone dust the redstone torch needs to be on the block but on the right it's just the block next to it on the floor then you put a sticky piston facing towards the redstone dust and it should automatically be extended because of the, that redstone torch and then you put a block here which carries the power from this sticky piston and then you put another block here and you just break it the block in the middle and you put a redstone torch and when that is powered this will turn off the redstone torch and turn on the repeater uh, sorry the dust so the dust will go through the block into this piston and then this block will get pulled back so then the, this piston will extend and pull back so then uh, this here would be your output and you just want to take that all the way along till the redstone torches I meant repeater sorry and after that you're pretty much done so just to test if it's working press the button should remain activate even until it's pressed again yes so you can just press it literally walk over to the other side without it closing on you press the button again and the door will close so now I'm just going to fill up the frame and I'll be right back so yeah guys I left this block for a reason and that is why the sandstone slab comes in handy because if you put a normal block it won't work because it stops the redstone from getting from here to here so you have to put a slab or a glowstone block and I don't like putting a random glowstone block because it just you know it doesn't look you know normal so I just put a slab so it looks pretty much exactly the same but it's half a block so this redstone can still go so when you put a slab you can just press the button the door will close press the button on the side and the door will open so thanks for watching guys please like rate comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time